This is an amazing animal. I think without ruminant, life on Earth would not have been possible. And they're especially good for us because they don't compete with us for any food resources. So they have four stomachs, uh, a, a rumen, a reticulum, and an omissum, and an ab omissum. So <laughs> let's see what they do. How many of you knew before coming here as to that fiber is made from sugar molecules? So if you take sugar molecules and you pack them like this, you will get fiber. On the other hand, if you pack them a little differently, you will get starch. So this is packed in such a way that you're getting starch, and this is packed in such a way that you're getting grass. What is the most abundant biologic material that an animal can consume? Grass. grass. By far, the earth is covered with so much grass that we can feed all the ruminants. And the ruminants take this grass, which has cellulose, and we cannot break down cellulose because we lack the enzyme. They put it into the rumen, where it is mechanically processed, it's broken up. Then they bring it back up to the mouth, chew it to the curd, and then send it back. And what they are doing is that they are taking the fiber, breaking it up so that the bacteria that are there in the rumen can work on it and convert the food from fiber to fat, which is amazing. When you break down carbohydrates, you can make short chain fatty acids. They are called SCSF, SCFA, short chain fatty acids. So this is the true stomach where there is an enzyme that breaks down the bacteria so that they can get protein. But before that, they have absorbed a lot of fat. So you can say, I now understand why a cow can eat grass and get so huge and fat. What is the anatomy of the rest of the animal kingdom? <coughs> so unlike uh, the uh, ruminant, we are hindgut fermenters. We ferment in the colon, which is at the end of the digestive tract. And this is a rat. The rat has fermenting capacity. It's got a huge cecum. The pony, the fermenting capacity is tremendous because the cecum is very large, the colon is very large, it is saculated. One of our best friends, the dog, is a carnivore. The colon is very small. There is almost no cecum, no appendix. And we look very similar to our friend because even though we are saculated, we don't have a cecum, which is a fermenting vat, and we don't have an appendix. It's just a vestigial structure. The rat has an enormous cecum. The pony has an enormous cecum and colon to ferment the food. Whereas humans have a vestigial cecum and very rudimentary capacity to ferment fiber. If you look at the energy absorption, because what can happen is that the bacteria will break the fiber into fat and the amount of energy that you can get that a dog can get is two percent an adult human by breaking fiber in their colon can get about six to nine percent and a pony can get a whopping fifty percent of its calories by breaking the fiber in the hindgut